Hello, my name is Taryn Packer and I'm an applications engineer over here at Go Engineer. Today I'd like to talk to you about a little trick that I found out in flow simulation to show specific parts of a model in a solid temperature plot like you can in FEA simulation. It requires a little bit of a workaround in flow, but it's not that difficult and I want to show that to you now. So my setup on this very simple electronics board is that I have a microchip that's producing two watts of power. And let's say I wanted to show the temperature of this microchip, of this small microchip, and then this first LED light and this second LED light. But I didn't want to show anything else. So I have my heat power. I have some goals where I can see the exact numbers that each of those produce. But what if I wanted to show visually what's happening while ignoring everything else? So I've already set up and run this analysis. And normally what people do after they run a flow simulation is they create a cut plot. So I'm going to insert a cut plot. It's going to be going right through all of my main bodies there. And I'm, I've got it set to temperature for solids only. So it doesn't show the fluid, it only shows the temperature. I'm going to pin this just to make it a little bit easier. And this is what that looks like. So it shows the temperature for all the solid bodies that that plane cuts through. But I only want to show those specific solid bodies I specified earlier. The only way to show specific regions in a cut plot is to use this region cropping tool where I can actually pull the handles back and show only specific regions. The problem with this is it shows everything within those regions. So I'm seeing half of the temperature in these regions, but I want to see the whole temperature in these part files, but not in the other part files. So to show specific areas in flow simulation, you have to use a surface plot. But to use a surface plot, you have to have surfaces to use. So I've already put some surfaces in these part files that I'm going to use for the surface plot. But I haven't put any surface in the main microchip. So I'm just hiding that cut plot. To put a surface in the main microchip only, you have to open up the main microchip. And you do this for any of the part files that you want to see specifically. And then you need to put a plane on the depth that you want to see. So I'm going to use the front plane and offset the front plane slightly to 0.5 millimeters. So I put it at the specific depth. And then the easiest way to make a new surface is to create a sketch and create a closed contour. So I'm going to do a square sketch entity, exit the sketch, and go to my Surfaces tab, click on Planar Surface, and the Planar Surface tool makes a surface using specific edges, in this case, my sketch. So I press OK to that, and now I have this surface that I can use. Perfectly fine that it goes outside the boundaries of my geometry. It actually makes it easier when I'm putting my surface plot in. So I'm going to go back to my assembly, and now I have this new surface that I can use for my microchip. So let's go ahead and start a surface plot. In the surface plot, you choose specific surfaces to use. So I choose that surface, that surface, this surface for my first LED light. Oh, looks like I missed a surface there. There we go. And this surface for my second LED light. So I always like to rotate it to make sure I'm getting the right surfaces. Make sure it's on temperature solid. And press OK. And then I get the full temperature range for the part files that I want. I don't have any temperatures for the part files that I don't want to see. And I'm not seeing anything other than the solid because it doesn't show fluid temperature. It only shows solid temperature. So even though my surfaces extend past my solid, it doesn't show anything but the solid temperature. So that is how you can show specific parts in a flow simulation for a solid temperature 
or any variable that only shows solids. This has been Taryn Packer, and I hope you've enjoyed this video.